In July of 1999, the alternative band Sonic Youth would find themselves on the road during a tour of Orange County in California. While staying at a Ramada Inn hotel on July 4th, a rider truck containing nearly two dozen customized guitars, a drum kit, a bass guitar, a synthesizer, as well as other equipment was stolen. The theft was thought to have occurred between the hours of 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, the same day the band had a show in Irvine. The truck would be discovered by the Orange County Police Department four days later, and all of its contents were gone. Just to show you how long ago the story was, MTV would report at the time, and I quote, Detective Clark Smith said he expects to receive information from America Online on Thursday, July 15th, about a possible lead in the case. Earlier in the week, however, he cautioned that the tip could prove to be a prank. Despite the unfortunate set of circumstances, the band's schedule shows in Irvine, Austin, and Santa Fe, when is planned on borrowed equipment and hastily purchased replacement gear, according to MTV. Sonic Youth guitarist Lee Ronaldo would tell MTV that the band's equipment being stolen could force the group to go into a new musical direction, telling the network, A line has been drawn for us in the sand, and thankfully at the beginning of a new round of recording. We are dragged into the future kicking and screaming. We'll have to find new instruments and look forward instead of back. In other cases, we will find new things, and that might lead to new directions, so that is a promising result of all this bad news. The resulting album after the equipment was stolen would be New York City Ghosts and Flowers. Pitchfork would report on the stolen items, and I quote, Sonic Youth's guitars are recognizable and don't sell well because they're heavily modified. The band has long destroyed their guitar's value by stripping them down to their essential elements, ripping out extraneous electronics, switches, and the tone knob. Since the announcement was made that the guitars had gone missing, fans of the band have been keeping an eye out online to see if any guitars popped up, and they would. In 2002, the first guitar would be recovered, which was Lee Ronaldo's Travis Bean Artist, which was discovered in an auction and eventually returned to the band. The guitar would end up being sold in 2018 as part of a separate auction. In 2005, several more guitars were returned to the band, including a Telecaster Thinline and another Travis Bean, both of which belonged to Ronaldo. In 2009, another Lee Ronaldo owned guitar would be recovered, a Mustang guitar, which would be returned to the band when one fan noticed it for sale on eBay. The winner of the auction would contact the band to return the gear. In 2012, almost a year after the band split up, two more guitars would be returned to the band members within one week of each other. Thurston Moore's guitar, a 59 Burgundy Miss Jazzmaster, which was on sale on eBay. Sadly, four months later, the guitar would end up being stolen once again, while Moore was out on tour with his band Chelsea Light Moving, while they were staying at a Best Western Hotel in Philadelphia. The second guitar that was returned around this time was Lee's Burgundy Jazzmaster. Ronaldo would tell Pitchfork the same year, the most interesting interaction he had regarding the stolen guitar saying, These two scruffy teenager boys came up, they told us they knew about our stolen guitars. One claimed his uncle was involved with stealing the van, we were like, yeah, sure kid. But he sent us these anonymous pictures of our gear in basements, foot pedals where you could see our crew guys riding on the sides, and somebody's sneaker on top. These kids were destitute, they'd been kicked out of their homes living in a car in LA. We said we'll give you a few hundred dollars each for them. It did happen. Since 2012, it doesn't appear that any more guitars or equipment have surfaced or been returned to the band. That does it for today's video guys, thanks for watching, be sure to like button and subscribe. We'll see you again in Rock Roll Your Stories. Take care.